Kyiv Telefilm Company. Without you. Episode 8. Let's sum it up. You claim that at present you don't have a relationship with Georgi Potapov and don't know anything about the attack against him. Yes. I broke up with him. And no, I didn't know that someone threw acid in his face. You do realize that perjury is a punishable crime. Of course. You do have a point, right? You are the only person who had a reason to take revenge on him. According to one of his friends, you and him had a conflict when you were breaking up. <clears throat> Young man, I mean, Stepan. Yes, Stepan. People break up exactly because there is a conflict, a misunderstanding. Because their relationship has outlived itself. It's rather Georgi, who had a motive for an acid attack against me. Could you elaborate? Of course. I fell out of love with Georgi. I broke up with him, not vice versa. I took off my rosy-colored glasses. I saw our relationship from a new perspective and clearly realized that he was interested in my money. And not me. I had no reason to punish him. He punished himself by losing access to my money. But you loved him, didn't you? His friend claims that you found out about him cheating on you. A woman scorned is capable of many things. In theory, yes, but not in practice. Listen, I'm not 20 anymore. I've lived a long life, and if I've realized something. It is the fact that no man is worth of ruining your life. If you break up with him, step over him and move on to your new life. Do you have more questions? Well done, Sergei. I hope this gigolo learns his lessons and stays away from my mother-in-law. Actually, with this new phase of his, I doubt that any woman will let him come close. Right you are, boss. Sergei, give us a minute. I need to talk to my son-in-law. Didn't I warn you? that this Georgi is trouble? I did, but does anyone in this house ever listen? How was your talk with the detective? Did you tell him you have no relation to this call boy? I did. Now you give me an explanation. Why did you order to throw acid at Georgi. Did I ask you about that? I don't know what you mean. Yes, you do. You know it very well. I had been with my husband for 40 years, and I know all about his methods. I know what he taught you. Zubov. If your idiocy gets me in trouble, have it in mind. I'll turn you in. I'm telling you this just in case, so that you mind it your business. Got it?
Gotcha. Dmitrik. Why didn't you say that we knew each other? I wanted to, but... I was ashamed. Of what? Of what? Remember how we wanted to be cops when we were kids? Yes. We had that hut in the woods where we played cops. And then I see you and realize I am on the other side of the law. Not much to be proud of. It wasn't your fault. Sit down, this isn't an interrogation. I'm not sure. I could just go and get a saleswoman's job like Ella. Instead, I was climbing into windows. Why didn't your godfather give you to us? We would take a better care of you than this Lucia. He didn't want to expose me. We were at the house when my parents were killed. Did you see the killer? Only in passing. Godfather was driving us away, and they ran after us. I didn't have a good look, but they saw me. Does your godfather know who they are? Of course he does, but he wouldn't tell me. He doesn't want me to get involved because he thinks the killer will get rid of me as a witness. Did he mention any names? No, he just said it was a powerful and dangerous man. But I'll find him anyway, Dmitra. I'll have my revenge. And I will help you. No, it's not your war. I don't want you to get hurt because of me. That's for me to decide. <sighs> Dmitrik. My arm, my arm, where is the ambulance? Zelena Street, in front of number 45. It's her fault. It was her. Miss, are you okay? Miss. Miss, are you all right? Wake up. Why is my life a constant pain? What are you doing? Instead of helping him, he's filming the show. I am helping. Ilya asked me to film his last quest for history. Do you know each other? Two idiots. Lost generation. Wake up. Thank God. Thank God. Are you okay, my dear? What is it? My stomach. It takes. Hold on. She is pregnant. Did you throw herself under the car on purpose? Did you see she was pregnant? What if she loses her baby because of you? From dust we came, to dust we shall return. What? You are an idiot. We will all testify that you jumped in front of the car. Got it. The ambulance is coming. Hang in there. You will be okay. No, no, no ambulance. I need to go to my doctor, Eduard Karlovich. Can you call him? Yes, let them get me to him. Call him, my dear. Shall I get you an ice cream? A chocolate? I'm not a baby. I don't need anything. Leave me alone. Take a look. My life goes. And the unofficial investigation I was leading myself. You know what I'm going to do with it? The same thing that Bester Danilo did to the last six years of my life. I'll destroy it. Calm down. That's enough. He isn't worth it. Exactly. He isn't. All these years I wasted on him. All I wanted was to find his murderer. Idiot. I went to law school. Accepted a glorified secretarial job at the investigations. For what? For what? 
to get justice for someone who wasn't worth it. Just go. 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 All right, Alicia, calm down. Don't. I don't want. No, go. Don't. God, what am I going to do? What shall I do? Ira, shut up. I feel bad enough as it is. You don't understand. I put all my life on stake for you. I choose you. I even rejected Aninkov, in spite of all the prospects. What prospects? He is married. So what if he is? He is in cripple, at least. What shall I do with a blind artist? Your doctor said clearly that your eyesight won't come back. What? What do you mean it won't come back? It won, Georgi. I'm so sorry, but I can't stay with you. I'm young and promising. I have a future ahead of me. I'm not going to be your nurse. Sorry. I'll keep the plasma TV. You won't need it anyway. Ira. Ira. Don't go. Don't leave me. Ira. It's not fair. All the money I invested in you. Stop shouting. Ira isn't here. She ran away. Yevgenia? It hurts so much when you realize that someone was with you only for the money. Yevgenia, are you here to gloat? You are behind all this. I'll have you rot in jail. You'll die there. This is mean, Georgi. So mean. We aren't strangers, after all. As for the acid attack, I have nothing to do with it. My advice is... Look into your own life. Maybe you'll remember some people you've hurt. I'm sure there are at least a few. No. It was you. Bitch, I don't believe you. Do you realize you've ruined my life? Yes. It hurts. It hurts so much. Ruining others' lives, though doesn't. Speaking about my nude pictures, they don't exist anymore. They were destroyed. So, ciao, amore. Yevgenia, wait. Don't go. Yevgenia, don't abandon me too. I didn't mean to. We should have had this Danilo killed sooner when we just found out he was a spy. Then we wouldn't be able to feed him false info and win the tender. No tender is worth of my child's happiness. Oops. Didn't your mother tell you eavesdropping was bad? So is having people killed. Wait there. Don't lecture me. I did it to protect my daughter. You can't kill a person to protect someone. Mind you, I'm not going to cover up for you. Are you going to tell the cops? Remember, I'll drag you down with me. I never killed anyone. Your daddy was good at it, though. He supported me completely with Danilo, and even let me borrow his hitman. Are you sure you want this to come out? Do you think it will make Olesa happy? We're here? 
I remember this place. Are you kidding? Of course. We hang out here every summer. It's a good place for you to stay, not far from the city, too. I hope your parents won't pay a sudden visit. Auntie Svetlana isn't my fan. Don't worry, they almost never come. In fact, they gave this house to me. As for mom, her opinion of you will change when she finds out you're her beloved goddaughter. You can't imagine how she mourned your alleged death. Dmitro, don't tell anyone about me, okay? Let it stay as it is. Why? I don't want to disappoint them. I'll take this. They'll find out sooner or later. Better sooner than later. You probably remember that the bedroom is upstairs. You can stay here. Dad has installed a bathroom, so you'll have all you need. It's like a spa. <laughs> yeah. So stay at this spa and don't go to the city, okay? You think it's dangerous? The ghost still has some fillers out there. Yes, a few. <laughs> it's ours. Hi. It's a strange situation, of course. Yes. If you mean the active quest. Yes, and the whole ghost situation. We got him, he has confessed, but still it feels incomplete. I can wrap my head around it either. Then the ghost. There are all those old cases with similar MO. Dan was just a kid then. I would rather have thoughts my godfather was the ghost, but he isn't a killer. Besides, he spent half of his life inside. <sighs> well, you probably need to go. Yes. Thank you for helping me. <laughs> I'm so happy that you're alive. Me too. Dmitrik. Dmitro. Okay, go over. Yes? Yes, it's me. Yes, she's my wife. In the hospital? Hello. I was told you were a lawyer. Judging by your clothes, an expensive one. I don't think you're a public defender. I hardly can afford you. Why are you here? I am here on my client's behalf. Denis Onishchenko. Dan? Since when does he have a lawyer? Since he has been arrested, Partly because of you. This is why I am here. My client wants you to lobby his interests to a certain group of people who got him into this conundrum. If something got him into anything, it was his own stupidity. I have nothing to do with it. Really? My client was arrested as part of the ghost's case. He has confessed, but he can retract the confession. So it's true. You knew that my brother-in-law and dad had Danilo killed. You knew who your father was. You knew that he was a resolute and harsh businessman. Add ruthlessness and the lack of principles into the mix. And that's your father's portrait. I couldn't say a word against him. Call it the self-preservation instinct. Why didn't I know anything? Because... 
Because your father loved you so much. He didn't want you to know about the dark side of his life. He had Alexa for that. If something would go wrong, he would get rid of him too. And you would stay clean and innocent. So there. How can you be so calm about it? You know, when I married Zahar, I was madly in love, with head in the clouds. But he brought me down to earth very quickly. I realized that if I'd testify against him, you would grow up without a mother. I couldn't let it happen. And what am I supposed to do now? How can I go on, knowing that my father and my sister's husband are killers? If I don't say anything, I'm an accomplice. No one will ever find out. I know. That's enough for me. All right. If you go to the police, you'll ruin your sister's life. Or lessons, too. Are you prepared to sacrifice them? Are you? A confession isn't going to bring anyone back. Anyone. Roman, it's time to grow up, please. It's all my fault. I was rude to her. She drove away after our fight. Anatoly, I will never forgive myself. It's okay. Don't worry. Maybe she will be okay. Nadia. Nadia. My dear. Nadia. How are you feeling, darling? God, I'm sorry. It's a silly question. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry it happened to you. The poor baby. I think your son will be happy. Of course not. Of course not, Nadia. No, no. Don't say that. God, how horrible. Horrible for whom? Some will be happy. Nothing holds Dmitro and I together now. Only our marriage certificate. It's easy to get rid of it. And of myself. What's left for me in this world without my baby and my husband? Nadia, don't. Don't even think about such things. Dmitro will never leave you. Never. Come on, darling. No. Everything will be all right. Dad, how's Nadia? Is it true that she lost the baby? How can it be? It's all my fault. I shouldn't have left her alone. Don't blame yourself. It's not your fault. Listen, you can't babysit her 24-7. Anyway, driving with unfest and seatbelt... Well? Son, it's bad. Can I see her? You must. Don't let her be alone. She might do something stupid. She says you leave her now that the baby is gone and that she has nothing to live for. What? See, it's all that Clara's fault. If she didn't come to work with Dmitro. Svetlana, don't lie to yourself. 
Dmitro and Nadia had had problems before Clara showed up. Whose side are you on? My sons. So should you. Nadia, I came as soon as I could. I'm so sorry about what happened. <laughs> it's your fault. If you didn't cheat on me, nothing would happen. Nadia, I never cheated on you. Dmitro, don't. I saw everything. You're sleeping in the office with this... Yes, I slept there. But nothing happened. We were there by coincidence. Katya, I mean Clara. She couldn't go home, so... Got Clara again. You know what? If you don't want me, just leave. Just leave. I don't want to be a burden. And I won't be. Especially now that our baby is gone. I have no reason to leave. Do you mean if... If I leave, you... You... How is she? You saw her five minutes ago. Dmitro, you need to take care of your wife. She lost her baby. She needs your care and attention. I'm not saying she doesn't. Listen to me. I'm your mother and I wish you well. You need to save your marriage. You both are young and healthy. You will have more children. Nadia needs your support. Dmitro, maybe you could take a leave from work. Mom, no offense, but let me deal with my wife. You already have. Starting an affair at work. Your wife lost her baby. I didn't have any affair. I saw the video. Mom, what do you want from me? To save your marriage. What for? What do you mean? Dimitra, I'm not finished. Mind it, I will never accept this criminal of yours. If you divorce your wife, you will lose your mother too. Is that how you stay away from your son's life? Anatoly, don't start it. I won't give you the money. Is this an ultimatum? You're forgetting yourself. I forget nothing, but you have to understand. If the kid starts talking, he will turn in us both. I'm already here, and you do have something to lose. Use your connections. Can you get him out of it? I don't know. Have him proclaimed insane. It was your idea, so the problem is also yours. You solve it. Get rid of the kid before he starts speaking. Otherwise, I'll get rid of you. He's a loose cannon. Well... Looks like it's time to retire our precious ghost. If he can't solve this problem on his own, I don't need him. Take care of it. Yes, sir. Ola? Yes. Has Lesia come up? Yes. She went to the club about 30 minutes ago. To the club? Yes, to the club. Judging by her clothes. You don't go to other places looking like that. Did she say which club and who she was going with? No, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I'll take care of it. I anticipate a fun night. Angela, hi. Listen, did Olesya call you today? Right. 
We got it. Hey, friend. You know what I've realized? When you get drunk, all your problems go. I should have started earlier. Of course. Yes. Miss, could I have seen you on a magazine cover? It's a silly move, but today it works. Yelly say, I'm a professional photographer. Do you want to be a top model? Alisa, junior detective. My oligarch dad won't approve it. Junior detective? Yeah. Oligarch daddy? That's an interesting combination. Not for you. <laughs> I've never taken pictures of a junior detective. How about a professional photo session? Why not? Let's do it. Yes. I've never modeled before. Only a fool. Super. <laughs> right, you're good. Hi, Rita. Is Alessia still here? Hi, Roman. It has been a while. Where is Lesia? She was dancing with this guy when I was leaving. Lesia is a bit weird tonight. I was going home already. How about a cup of coffee? Some other time. Thanks for the help. As usual. Enough. The fun is over. Let's go home. I'm not going with you. I like it here. I found myself a boyfriend. And forget your name. Yelisei. Right, Yelisei. Such a pretty name. I don't like mine. Olesa sounds too plain. Yelisei, get lost. Back off. This chick is with me. Find yourself another one. Look at me. What did you take? A cocktail, that's all. Did he bite? Leave the girl alone. Let's go. I said leave. Hey, what the hell? What the hell? Stop it. What are you doing? You're such a cat. And you call yourself my friend. Why do I have such bad luck with men? Because you're looking in the wrong place. I see. <laughs> Roman, do you know you have gorgeous eyelashes? Your lips are all right, too. Actually, you're... Oh, la la. What do you mean by oh, la la? Just what I said. If you weren't my uncle, I would... Woo. View what? Never mind, let's go.
Katya. Katya. Dmitro, are you... are you crazy? What are you doing there? Hiding from the ghost. I thought it was his people. Wait, why are you here? You're supposed to be home. I was. I don't want to be there alone. Alone? Isn't your wife there? Has she left? Sort of. Do you mind if I spend the night upstairs? If it doesn't get you in trouble, I'm all for it. It's a bit spooky being here all alone. Come on in. I've cooked some dinner. Are you hungry? Yes. I'm so drunk, I can't stand. Excuse me? What's going on? She's drunk. Hi, Daddy, it's me. I'm out of control. Roman, what's wrong with her? She's drunk. Olesia never drinks. I wouldn't be so sure. Olesia. Enough. You've had enough for today. You don't love me. No one does. So? Is she going to get drunk all the time now? I don't think so. But we need to keep an eye on her for a while. That bastard, he wasn't worth her. We should have told her at once. She would have processed it by now. What do you mean, tell me at once? Did you all know? You knew he was a traitor and you never told me? Come with me. You let me mourn him? Waste all these years chasing his killer? Alicia, baby. Years. You got it all wrong. What for? What's there to get? You are both traitors. I'm leaving. Where to? Good people will take me in. Wait. Let me help. Leave me alone. Get off me. Olesia. Dinner is good, but winnies and a campfire are better. <laughs> what? I just remembered. The campfire we made in our hut. Right. We almost burned it down. Your mom was so mad. My dad gave us a lecture about fire safety. I still remember every word. Those were the times. So careless. Right. How are your parents, by the way? They're fine. Mom is busy interfering with my family life. You must have noticed. Don't be mad at her. She does it because she loves you. Believe me, it's great when you have a mom who loves you, a family who loves you, people who care about you. Yes, it sounds beautiful. In reality, they are eating my brain out. What? Nothing. I feel good around you. Cozy. Like wearing slippers. <laughs> Thanks. No one ever compared me with slippers. <laughs> Sorry? It's Alessia. Funny. Hello? Yes, Alessia. What happened? Alessia, are you drunk? No, of course you can come. The address? What's the address? I'll send you the pin. Alessia, just promise me you won't drive. You take a cab. Okay. I'm waiting. Is something wrong? We'll find out soon. She's drunk blind. She wants to come over. Do you mind? Of course not. Let her come. Alessia, drunk? 
Are you sure? She never drinks. That's what scares me. Okay, I could use this too. What the hell are you doing? What does it look like? I'm going away. Where to? You don't need to know. It's none of your business. I'm a free, independent woman. If you don't tell me where you're going, I won't let you out. You have no right. You don't own me. Try and stop me. You're such a pest. I'm going to Clara happy. She's the most decent and sensitive person I know. She understands me and feels for me. I will call a taxi. Okay, you can go to Clara, but I'll drive you there. No, you won't. Alicia, I won't let you take a cab in this condition. Either I take you there, or I'll lock you up. If you lock me up, I'll jump out of the window. Don't be silly. Stay in this house with the traitors. I'll never forgive you. Let me at least help you with the luggage. Stubborn girl. Is she here yet? Nope. She should be here soon. Dmitro, is it okay if she's seen you here? I mean, it's late and I'm here. Well, we aren't doing anything wrong. You're right, we should avoid gossip. We have enough problems without that. In any case, you were a great help today. With what? I didn't do anything. You were here. Sometimes it's more than enough. You killed me. I'll go get my coat. Never mind. She'll sleep it off, get through the hangover, and get over it. And... She needs a husband. The wedding, the kids, it'll distract Alessia from undesirable thoughts. In general, you're right. But I don't think she's ready to start dating. We'll talk to her, persuade her. I'll ask Roman. She looks up to him. Please leave Roman out of it. Let me talk to her, woman to woman. Okay. You know what's funny about this marriage situation? No, what? If they hadn't been raised as relatives, Roman and Olesia would make a great couple. And the money would stay in the family. Alexa, you're thinking about money even now. I always think about it. Clara, my dear, let go of me. Only you can understand me. You're all I have. There is nobody else. Don't look at him. He's a traitor, too. Can you believe it? I found out that my Danilo was an asshole. What do you mean? Yes, he was. He had been using me to spy on my father. He made me fall in love with him to get to dead. Can you believe it? For real? What is it called? Industrial espionage. Right, that. He had a wife and a son. The bastard. Where do I go? I put you in the upstairs bedroom. Let me help. No, I've got it. I don't want to see this traitor again. Okay, watch your step on the stairs, okay? Listen, why didn't you guys tell her about Danila? I immediately told her that he was a dick. Do you think she listened? She was 17 and obsessed with that moron. And now the result. Right, I thought I had it hard. Whose house is this? My childhood friends. God, it's heavy. Has she left home for good? I hope not. Let me carry it inside. Okay. Come on in. Put it here. They all betrayed me, do you see? I will never forgive them. I know, I know. Go to sleep. Lie down. 
It's okay, don't cry. I'm right with you. It's okay. Oh, morning, Rebel. Here. Here or the duck? Thank you. My head is killing me. I'm sorry about last night. I can't hold my liquor. I overdid it a bit. A bit? Well, to put it mildly. It's a nice place. Is it yours? It's Dmitrix. I mean Dmitras. I'm here as a part of the witness protection program. We don't have this program at investigations. Well, we should. It appears that the ghost has a couple more quests running. I might be one of the targets, so we decided I would be safer here. I see. Have you called your folks? They must be worried sick. I'm not going to call them. They betrayed me. Yes, Roman told me. You know, I think they were just trying to protect you. Roman is a traitor, too. He knew everything. Alessia, it's not a betrayal. It's what you do if you want to protect someone you love. You should be glad. Not everyone has a caring family like yours. Won't you be late for work? No. I'm going to quit. I don't need it anymore. What do you mean? You mean you had been working there all this time just to find the ghost? Yes. Now I understand why your family didn't tell you the truth. If that was your reaction to Danila's death, how would you take his betrayal? Kill yourself? It's 17? Probably. That's what I'm talking about, Alessia. Will Dmitro come here soon? I don't know. He didn't say. You two have a funny relationship. We don't have a relationship. We are just friends. I don't believe in friendship between a guy and a girl. Especially when it starts so suddenly. Usually one thinks they're friends and the other is in love. It shows that you have a great experience. Breakfast? Your friend is here. Talk of the devil. He isn't mine. Hi. Hi. Why are you here? Alessia is already up. I thought you didn't want her to know. I was going to call, but then I thought it wasn't something you should hear over the phone. What do you mean? What happened? Is it Aunt Lucia? No, it isn't about her. Your godfather was killed in jail last night. I'm very sorry. What do you mean, killed? <laughs> Dmitrik. It's all my fault. It's because of me, Dmitrik. Katya, don't cry. Don't torture yourself. Hi. What's going on? I don't get it. Finally. I thought you would never come. Everybody abandoned me. My husband stopped by for a couple of minutes and bolted. Nobody cares about me. I didn't expect anything from my stupid mother-in-law. She only whines and lectures me. I thought my best friend would come to support me. But no, you didn't come yesterday. You know, I had always looked up to you. Beautiful, smart, refined, talented. I always wanted to be like you. Until yesterday. 
Lada, you're scaring me. What happened yesterday that made you get disappointed in me? You're a monster. What? How dare you insult me? Nadia, I know everything. You didn't have a miscarriage. You asked Eduard Karlovich for an abortion. I don't understand. How can someone kill their baby? The baby was due in a few weeks. I'll tell your husband. Let him know what you really are. We aren't friends anymore. Stop right there. Now listen to me. You aren't going to tell anyone. Or I will kill you. Got it? I will have nothing to lose. It's not just an empty threat. You don't know what I'm prepared to do to save my family. I will get rid of anyone who stands in my way. You got it? <laughs> 